No, well, that's the issue with it. Like, mm. it, they, they, they don't do the studies because no. obviously they can't make money off it because it's not mm-hmm. patented. And if they did the study and they found out it worked, oh, well, yeah, yeah. we'll just sweep yeah, that yeah, under yeah, the rug. Yeah. <laughs> no good for you. Look at, look, at this, look at the things with smoking. They know you've got the perfect example of a thing like smoking, and they know it causes so many problems, cancer and that. And they even put ads on TV don't smoke, paid for by the government, yet they still sell it. They say they care about your health, but do they really? It's like... Well, you, you mentioned BPC-157. Yes. So you've injured your tricep. Yeah, it's meant to be like... I, I've had a bottle for ages and never used it, so I started using it. So what? just tell everyone what it is, because I've got... Oh, it's like a peptide. Yeah, Can you look it up there? But when you look at what it does, it's almost like growth hormone. It's meant to help muscles, ligaments. It helps your fucking stomach... It's like so many benefits to it, and everyone swears by it. I do the injectable, but someone said even the tablets are better. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <clears throat> what does it do to your body? There you go. What there? Click on that one. What Come down. What does it do to your body? Go back. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it is here. I'll probably have it in here. Main benefits in rodents. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, healing various tissues, yeah. tendons, nerves, the intestinal tract, stomach, skin, potential overlapping action, including... Promoting nitric acid synthesis, activating cells involved in tissue repairs. Everyone that I've known, I've spoken to a lot of bodybuilders, they swear by it. And there's another one called TB500, I think, is similar. So people take both. But I know bodybuilders who take this just all year round. Look, it's composed of those 15 amino acids. Is also known as PL. PL so ha- 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 and how do oh, you... TB500, there you go. Don't be, not be confused with TB500. And is this like one of these... Um... They say, I take... I put two mil in the mix, and I take on the 40 on the insulin syringe, so I'm not sure what 10, 110 for 150 pound person, one four, I don't know, but I just take the four, three to four on the insulin syringe, but yeah, and everyone I said is taking it, they reckon they've, like, they've had injuries too, reckon they've healed a lot quicker using it and stuff, that's what it comes from, derived from stomach protein, Without elaborating on what the protein has, the papers. And so, is this one of um, Joe Rogan's ones? I think I'm not he, sure. Is he on it? I, I, I know he has a list of things. Or And is this one of them? Um, you, you, is it legal or it's... Stem cells. There you go, Joe Rogan's yeah. favourite peptide. They're stem cells, tithmycin. Go back up a bit. That second one, stem cells to mice and, and BP peptides okay. healing. He must be talking about it there. So, yeah, okay. Oh, it'll be. Um, it's a pity that they don't do like. Well, I know a lot of bodybuilders now who just <coughs> take it year round just to help with their tissues and tendons yeah. and stuff. So, I think for one to two, they're not sure. Someone said for some reason maybe the one. The tablets are even better than the injectable because they say, who knows, and maybe if you had cancer, it might speed up cancer, but they say to have any steroid or growth hormone that if you had cancer cells, it could maybe speed that up. Who knows? But that sounds pretty good, and I've been using it, and like I said, I've been getting a good pump, so whether it helps with that or... I just, you know, the thing that you just wish they would do research mm-hmm. into these things... But you can see why they wouldn't because uh, <laughs> imagine you could just take this cheap stuff that um, heals injuries. Oh, and, yeah. um, <laughs> what? Uh, You're going to cut into the Oxycontin yeah, market? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, also too. We don't, like, we don't so, want to heal people. We just want to maintain your level of... Um, um, I'm in a business. Um, the surgeon is a business. Mm-hmm. So the surgeon makes money on surgeries. Mm-hmm. So... If you go to him and go, oh, I'm feeling a bit... No, I've had a few people that have had, like, operations, they said, and would have had, like, an injury like mine where they might have actually torn off the bone and taken that and growth hormone or just taken that. When they go back, the doctor's like, oh, my God, I can't believe how fast you're healing, so it must do something because the doctors have said, oh, normally people don't heal this quick. And they ask them, what are you doing? And they say, I've been taking BP-157 and blah, blah, blah. So, And then they bother, oh, no, that doesn't work. There's no, no studies on <laughs> he's, that. He's stick to these. Let me write you a script. No, but that's the issue with it. Like, mm. it, they, they, they don't do the studies because no. obviously they can't make money off it because it's not mm-hmm. patented. And if they did the study and they found out it worked, oh, well, yeah, yeah. we'll just sweep yeah, that under yeah, the rug. Yeah. <laughs> no good for you. Look at, look, at this, look at the things with smoking. They know you got the perfect example of a thing like smoking, 
and they know it causes so many problems, cancer and that. And they even put ads on TV, don't smoke, paid for by the government, yet they still sell it. Imagine if I brought out a protein and it caused that much cancer. <laughs> I'd be taken off the market straight away. So how can they, or they even with alcohol, they keep taxing that and putting it up when they know how many accidents are caused by drunk people driving, abuse, you know, all that sort of stuff, you know caused by people that are drunk but yet the tax dollars the money they make it's like they say they care about your health but do they really it's like here's his out of the guy breathing <gasps> then it says don't smoke but yet they sell them and that yet they know they distinctly know that cigarettes cause so many problems but they still sell it so it's like they don't give a shit about your health and look at the then it goes down the chain of line you get cancer they get their money from the cigarettes you get cancer and everybody else makes money from cancer the doctors are making money doing all this stuff to you and the hospitals are making money with the chemotherapy and it's just like a trickle down effect everyone's making millions off your misery 